Hey guys, it is Christine from Blooming Brilliant and today I am making a video that is part of a playlist. So make sure you check all the videos in this playlist because they're going to be amazing. I just know it. Um, the playlist will be in the description box below and also you may see a card up here. So let's get into it. This video is about Poetry Tea Time with um, Julie Bogart. So if you never heard of Julie Bogart or the Brave Writer or the Brave Lighter, Brave Lighter, Brave Writer Lifestyle, um, I urge you to check it out. I'll also put a link to her channel below and even her website. She is amazing. I absolutely love her. So if you saw our video that we posted yesterday, it was about why we homeschool. And so while I was getting ready to homeschool Isabella, who's um, second grade, I found um, Brave Writer and I found Julie Bogart and I fell in love with her and all of, like her amazingness. And it was just a wonderful to hear about somebody who did this, who's been through it and were, was in the trenches and has found her way out and could like show and prove something from it. So that's about Julie and Brave Writer and her, we just love that. So Poetry Tea Time came from her and today we're going to just share with you some of the poetry books that we've been using during our Poetry Tea Time and the books that we are in love with. Um, if you didn't know, April is National Poetry Month so that's kind of why we're doing it now. So today I'm just sharing with you about Poetry Tea Time. If you've never heard of Poetry Tea Time, you need to sit down, get a pad and pen, and start taking notes because it's amazing. So Poetry Tea Time is really, really simple. You do not have to overthink it. I'm an overthinker. I overthink it. Think it? Is that a word? Overthink? Well, I overthought it. And... I overthought it. And I went on a tangent looking at tea sets and recipes for this amazing tea party that I was going to have and all this stuff and I did go crazy a little bit in the beginning but then I scaled it back and I made it really simple. So it does not have to be crazy. Don't overthink it. Um, I enjoy drinking tea. My favorite tea is green tea um, but the kids don't. <laughs> they don't like tea. They will drink juice or milk or hot chocolate. We did um, some in the winter with hot chocolate. That was really fun. We do simple snacks or we have it at, um, we do it at breakfast time or we'll do it at lunch and incorporate some kind of fun lunch. So it doesn't have to be crazy. But today I want, besides all that, I want to share with you our favorite poetry books that we're using right now. I will be posting a blog post about poetry tea time and how we do it and how to keep it simple and not to go crazy, but that will be later on in the month. So now that is all out of the way, let's show you our amazing poetry books and what we are loving right now. So as always, I'm going to be a little bit of a brown nose and kiss up to Julie Bogart and share her Poetry Tea Time Companion. Um, we got this book around the winter, I think, because I purchased a Gracious Space Winter Edition when I got this. And if you don't know what a Gracious Space is, that, that's a whole other video. I have to explain that to you, but that's amazing. And it's encouragement for homeschoolers. Um, but Poetry Tea Time Companion is a collection of poems. I love that it's kind of categorized by season and it has some amazing um, photographs and illustrations. I love that it has the extra information about the poet and it gives you some ways in the beginning, it gives you some ways to appreciate, like tips on how to appreciate poetry, tips for appreciating poetry. And I really love that. It's, it's a great book if you're gonna start Poetry Tea Time. It's kind of an essential, but you don't need it. We started Poetry Tea Time, I think, in September-ish, and we just got books from the library. So I think the first book we got was Don't Bump the Glump, and that was over the summer, and that was by Shel Silverstein, and we love that book, and Isabella and Mate said, you have to mention Shel Silverstein, and you have to mention Don't Bump the Glump, and if you want to see her review of Don't Bump the Glump, you can check the description box below. I will have a link to that video. Um, also, there'll be a card up here. Um, yeah, so she loves that, and she lo we love Shel Silverstein, so I'll skip to that before I talk about 
the other book that I was going to mention first. But So Don't Bump the Glove was by Shel Silverstein, and it's really fun. And we love his poems because they are super fun. This is Falling Up, and we just got it, and we were working through it. We haven't gotten really far in it, but it's really a fun one, and we just love him. So we recommend anything by Shel Silverstein because they're amazing poem books or poetry books. Um, so I was going to mention the Poems to Learn by Heart, and I highly recommend these books because they have a great variety of poets inside, they have great variety of topics, and some of them are really hard, like you have to really think about it, so it's hard for younger children, but they're really great to introduce to your children and then like later on revisit them. So this one is Forget Me Not. Um, we posted on maybe Instagram about the other one I had of, of the Poems to Learn by Heart. I know it was um, curated by Kennedy, but it was curated by Caroline Kennedy. But I don't remember all the details of that book. But that one we really enjoyed as well. So Poems to Learn by Heart, anything by Shel Silverstein, and definitely the Poetry Tree. The Poetry Tea Time Companion. Sorry. Okay. And then the <clears throat> these two are ones that we just got and are so fun. And this one is Outside the Box, a book of poems by best-selling author Karma Wilson. And it is so fun. In the back it has the ladybug said, You are you're so dreadfully rude. Stop calling me lady, please. I'm a dude. And the kids love it. It makes you laugh out loud. It's so cute and then we have poems I wrote when no one was looking which is also really fun and kind of gets um you get a look at like how kids get into trouble and like kind of make poems about it it's cute it's really cute so we highly recommend these poetry books and we hope that you check them out um make sure that you check out all the other videos in this playlist if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you have any comments keep them nice and comment them down below and as always subscribe and share because this is blooming brilliant where you grow smart